like, hey, let's just walk around. Let's see what we find. Uh, no, we were rolling and <laughs> <laughs> sipping on, you know, whatever By the we way, got from our. That's why I thought you would not come. I really did not think you would come through. Oh, no. I just no, thought no. you'd be too, way too fucked up. Zephyrs just floating through <laughs> this casino and uh, meeting different people. Uh, I love that you obviously. just used the word Zephyr completely appropriately. <laughs> obviously. Oh, 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 oh. That's much better. Perfect. All right. Let me see if I can get this a little bit brighter, too. Okay. I'm, I'm just telling you right now that I'm like having a fangirl moment right now. For real. And I don't really get that way just because I like you guys already. Even though we haven't talked to you yet, I already know I like you. <laughs> She's been reading your blogs. <laughs> <laughs> I have. And I was, when you texted us to be, you were like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was like, I think they actually give a shit that they missed the interview. <laughs> oh, they cared so much. Like, of course. I love to be on and of course, Air Canada delayed us two hours. I was like, this is like so typical. Of course, I'm going to miss it. No, it's, care. it's fine. It happened. Um, but this is Kissa and Johnny Sins, who I didn't really know a whole lot about until recently. Say hello. And um, found out about you guys through um, Kissa, through your, your PR agency, actually. So they're doing their job. Yes, they're doing their job. <laughs> <laughs> so they're doing their job. And so I was like looking at all these people trying to check out the clients because Damien was at the AEs. And so we were trying to hook him up with some people while he was there live. But I didn't discover you until after or he could have met you. I could have been there right I there know. with you. It was, it was pretty intense. I really liked it. Though. Had you been before? I have never been before. You were one. I've been. That was probably my third time there. Well, because you've been doing this for a while, right? I've been in the business nine, almost 10 years now. That's a long time. All right, I'm you're one be- of the few contract male stars, right? Well, I'm not contracted anymore. All the internet companies were racing to get guys for whatever reason. Okay. So about five years ago, it, there was a huge contest between like Reality Kings and Brazzers racing to get contract guys. And that's when all the guys got signed up, which was very <laughs> beneficial for us because our rates went up, you know, and <laughs> our status went up, so to say. Right. So it, it was great. But now I'm a free agent. I work for whoever. I still mainly work for Brazzers, but... So, okay, but so are guys treated differently in the business than women? Are they more dispensable? Uh, uh, being a guy, I would say so. I, I would say we're treated a lot better. Because oh, you think? Oh, okay. we, the difference with us girls is we always work for the same people over and over and over again. You know, the girls come in and work for the director one or two times, whereas we have, you know, friendships, relationships. Right. Why is that? The directors and the crew. Because when you use the same good guys over and over again, they don't get a bunch of lame we basically go and hang out with our boys. Exactly. So we go and hang out with friends on set, you know, and shoot a porn scene. Right. Awesome. So, Kissa, you just did your first, right? Your first official by yourself, right? Um. Yeah, I just, um, my first, it still hasn't come out yet. It's coming out Thursday. Um, it's a series with Brazzers, so it's four scenes altogether. Okay. Uh, this one is like a behind the scenes uh, at home thing that uh, Johnny and I shot um, all by ourselves, and I edited the whole thing. Uh, the second scene is a girl girl with Riley Reed. The third scene is uh, Johnny and I and okay. a boy girl. And then the fourth one is a boy girl 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 with Johnny, myself, uh, Aja Fox, and Dahlia Sky. Oh, that must have been so, terrible yeah. for you, Johnny. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm poor such an atrocious looking, such a horrible, unfortunate looking group of women. So before you met Johnny, did had you ever considered doing porn ever? No, actually, the first, like, year that we were together, almost a year, I was like, I would never do porn. Like, people would always ask me, right, when they'd recognize him, like, oh, do you? I'm like, no, no, no. And then so, what cha- so what changed? Uh, well, Johnny and I went to Mexico for six weeks. Oh, we, uh, some went peyote. And, uh, <laughs> 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 and uh, he, had a, he had, was just launching his website at the time. 
and he we he needed content and we were like shooting so you know sex tape type stuff right and i had never seen myself fuck on camera at all and so uh, when he needed content we're like well why don't you put this video up it's so hot and then everyone started asking about me and it, it just kind of snowballed from there so when did you when did you start right because i write a blog as well so when i started reading your blog i was really impressed with the writing first of all, and how much of it there is and how well you write because a lot of people are shitty writers and it drives me absolutely crazy. <laughs> Fucking drives me nuts as a writer. And Honestly, so 50 Shades of Grey drives me crazy. 50 Shades of Grey drives me crazy too for a completely different reason though. And we can have a conversation about that in a few minutes. But <laughs> do you do all of the writing for the site? Do you do all of that? That blog oh, is all you. Oh, it's all me. And it's all a very bad uh, punctuation. And I, I roll That's with okay. it. Like, That's okay. I'm going to catch I you like, some slack. I like I want people to read it the way that I'm I'm saying it. You know, I don't I know I could write it in good punctuation, but I just like I I like it to be more of a story than well, No, that's your a, voice. I well, mean that's a, your voice coming a, through your writing. There's a style even through commas just to tell people how yeah, you're speaking. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly like when you pause and how you're delivering something. So, yeah, that's a big part of it. No, but I think that lends um a lot of credibility when you're reading something because here's the thing what you guys are doing I I think is um I was talking to my husband about it and I was like, I just think what they're doing is really kind of like the next thing because, you know, there's so much porn on the internet. There is so much porn on the internet <laughs> and um, I love that they're making kissy faces. They're so cute. And you and David would know. I know. And so there's so much, <laughs> me and David, I'm sorry, you're like the Smithsonian Institute of okay, Porn. So, okay, so anyway. stop. So, so, so they, they, uh, they piggyback on my Netflix and I piggyback <laughs> on their sugar DVD account. So there you go. How sad is that? We rip That's each other's, we, we steal from each other. In the our... suburbs. <laughs> That's what's happening in Atlanta, Georgia. So anyway, so I said to him, I said, there's so much porn on the internet. I said, and this is totally different. I said, this feels um, smart to me because the writing is clearly intelligent. I said, they clearly actually really love each other and are really into each other. I said, they're totally <laughs> exposing their whole lives to people, telling every little thing. I said, and I really like that kind of honesty and rawness. I said, and I just, I don't know. I think this is smart. And I, there's nothing, there's nobody else doing anything like this. Right? Yeah. I completely agree. Thank you for noticing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I did. Yes, I did notice. They're but, beaming with joy. But is there anybody else out there doing anything <laughs> like this as a couple? You put the movie up on the site. You get a lot of feedback from it. And like, then at what point do the two of you look at each other and say, we think we kind of have something we can completely as its own entity. Um, in, in a, within a couple of weeks, we started, you know, uh, flirting with the idea of doing it and thinking of names. And, right. And uh, it happened pretty quickly. You know, like when it, when I saw myself, it was funny because I wrote about it in that uh, in my blog. But the first time I ever saw myself suck a dick was on was a picture <laughs> that he took. I know it sounds ridiculous, but <laughs> he took a picture first uh, anal experience ever. And I remember looking at the picture and like being fascinated with it. Like, oh, I love the way that looks. And so, I don't know, I really got addicted to it, really. Like, it sounds so stupid, and, like, I have such big ambitions. It doesn't, dreams, wait, but wait. But I love watching the talk. No, I, I, it does not sound stupid at all, and I'm going to tell you something. So, the other night, and Damien and I, I was laughing about this with Damien. So, Damien has a girlfriend, but he has no kids, not married, three dogs, right? I have three kids, and I've been married for, like, 15 years. So, we have sort of different lives, needless to say. And so... Um, my parents took my kids for the night on Valentine's Day, and so I was completely kidless, and I was so excited. I was like, we're going to order in food, and we're going to smoke out, and we're going to watch Netflix, and fuck. I said, and I thought, that is the best night ever, and for you, that's like a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to stop hating, man. I know it's <laughs> envious and all that, but it's what it, what it ends up becoming is hate. That's pretty much the best night for us, too. Exactly, right? right. So... Thanks. Watch Netflix and fuck. Yes, and so we were yeah. having a fun time, and I would not stop videotaping myself all night long. And my husband was like, "Jesus, could you put that down?" I'm like, "No." I'm do you like, have a go? Do you have a GoPro? <laughs> I listen when you're really feeling yourself, Kissa. When you're like, "I look good. This is fucking awesome." Like, you don't want to put the camera down. Well, it's funny because we both love to take pictures of ourselves and videos of other people. And at the beginning, we both were kind of shy about it. Uh, we didn't want to pick up the camera and take pictures of anything. How would you? Especially how could you? How were you shy about it, Johnny? Mind. How could you be shy about? It? You've been well, doing porn for ten years. <laughs> yeah, so but shy. I didn't. I didn't want to make it seem like I just wanted her to get into porn. You know, which I right. which I never pressured her. I didn't really care if she did or didn't. Right. So at the beginning, it was like we didn't want to take pictures. But then after that started, it was like we just started filming everything, and it just kind of. We like what we saw, so it just makes sense. To, no, I know. think it's I think it's awesome, and your chemistry for sure is uh, 
definitely translates onto the screen. All right, so I want to know about your Damien. You know they've got this bucket list, fuck it list. Yeah, the this, fuck it list. Okay, yeah. so I got that on the bumper. All right, so uh, I want to know of the things you haven't done yet. What's the one you're most excited about? That you're like, I can't <laughs> wait to. This should be like coming out of a holster, guys. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> now there's latency with this with the uh, Wi-Fi. No, I can. I can, I can but it's sometimes it's like, yes, John. It's like that delayed thing, but whatever. You know, we 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 just roll with it. We'll get it out of you at some point. Yeah. So what's what's the thing you're most excited about? By far, church. Like I answered as soon as before you even finished. Wait, what was it? What about a church? We want to fucking church is like number three on our list. Okay. Which type of church? But in, wait, hold on. In church meaning like while there's a service going on, or just in a building, or in an edifice. Pretty much just in a building. It would be awesome. Done if we it. Could do a Done service. it. Done what, it. What, synagogue? <laughs> synagogue or in a church? Synagogue. Yeah, in a synagogue. Okay. Well, in a church. She did it. So the, the problem it. that we're having is we can't find any that are open. I'm all even. The time. I, that makes me even crazier than the porn stars what is that we're the, um, <laughs> You got to find out the place with the, the least amount of legalities to it. So if you do get busted, it's like, <laughs> all right, we're sorry. We're no. just. What do we have to do? Wash well, dishes. We're or? like. <laughs> Should we be putting all this public stuff out there? But then again, it's like, if anything catches on, it's just publicity. Bringing this back to you guys. So, yes, porn is a fantasy, but I think that's what makes you guys a little bit different is because it's it's not. Like, that's real. It's a yeah. fantasy when you're watching people that get paid to fuck each other, fuck each other. That's a fantasy. But I don't know. I think that's what makes it so cool and so appealing. All right, so the thing you're most looking forward to is the church. <laughs> I want to know, of the things you did so far, what was your favorite? Um, my favorite was the middle of the street. Because <laughs> I'm an exhibitionist, and I think that that I was most excited about that one, and then it was so much fun. And that one, that's one, that one's going to be on our website. So we you didn't get caught? Yet. You did not get caught fucking in the middle of the street? I've never been caught. No. <laughs> I mean, we've been like kind of busted on the beach one time, but it wasn't like anyone said anything to us. We just got walked in. You know, someone right. walked by right. by accident. All right, so your favorite was in the middle of the road. What was yours, Johnny? Probably the park one we did. We just I, went to a I saw that park where she's wearing a little black LA. skirt. Are you a member on this website, Leslie? No. <laughs> it's like a clip that I saw somewhere. <laughs> What'd you say? I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. At that same park. What was that? I couldn't. She fucked in a tree at that same park. <laughs> I just can't even. I don't even know how that would work, fucking in a tree. I mean, I'm pretty creative. But that one escapes me. Squats on the on the dick. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's easier when you've been with the same person over and over again. You sort of get the idea of what, yeah. where, where they're moving. All right. So, <laughs> so I was. Did you guys know that there's a Tumblr fan page for you? Uh, for both of us? Yes. There is somebody that has a Tumblr page, like who is a fan of yours and has made a Tumblr page and puts up. Um, screenshots of your blog entries and then write stuff at the bottom like, oh my God, that's the most romantic thing ever. <laughs> like, oh my God, I love kissing Johnny. You don't know about it? Well, no. I, haven't, I haven't seen the Tumblr one. But we have a bunch of like super fans that like, it's, it's mostly young girls that like love us, like too young of girls. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a little scary. Like, well, well it's interesting no, they're not, they're not, uh, you know, sacrificing animals on <laughs> The but I, I think Satan. the girls they like they look forward to having a relationship kind of like we have. Yeah. You know. No, I I think that like I said, it, it's very relatable. Do whatever. Okay, so where did you guys meet at? I already know the story because <laughs> I, I read I, it on your I blog. Would, I would like to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I met him as a joke as a joke actually because I've I've always been in long term relationships and. So I broke up with my last boyfriend, and all I wanted to do was, like, get fucked and, like, have a one-night stand and be a slut. And so um, at the same time, I had found, I saw him on Instagram, and I was like, hey, isn't that that bald porn dude? And my friends were like, yeah. And I was like, and I was like okay, well, this is perfect because he's a porn guy. Like, he's not going to get attached to me. He's just going to want to fuck me and then leave me, and that'll be perfect, and I know he's good at fucking. So I hit him up as a joke, and he responded, and we just met up, and then have been inseparable. Okay, wait, then. stop. Hold on, hold on. I got to stop you right there. So you are just some random chick that sends an Instagram message to Johnny Pornstar, and Johnny, you responded because why? Because she's hot. Well, Duh. I know she's hot, but I'm I, just saying, like, do you even I read all the comments? I think she was hot. And she looked cool. 
but mainly because she was close by, like <laughs> the next city over. You know, wait, 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 where's, where's close by? Live in Europe or Australia. They're like, right. oh, you're so hot. We should hang out. We live in Australia. You know, were you in the same state? Here, uh, the hot from you know Pasadena, and I'm in LA, so I was like, oh, hell yeah, yeah. fuck it. Let's Dude, yeah, this another That's thing nuts. about California because they only there's the, like the top one <laughs> percent of all population that is. What are you talking about? I'm telling good you, looking, Jabberwocky, good right looking. now. <laughs> um, so okay, so That's a code word for you dabbed out. Yes. So at what point? <laughs> at what point did you like know that this was not a one night stand? For me, pretty much the well, she actually wanted to go home. Like we went to the bar, we met up, we had some drinks. You know, we went back to my place. And then we fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and then I love she you. Actually, she wanted to go home, and I was like, "No, nah, fuck it, just stay." You right. Know? Which is weird because I never do that. Usually, I'm like, "Please leave immediately." <laughs> <laughs> and, but then the next morning, you know, we woke up. Um, we probably fucked again. <laughs> and then I made her breakfast, and we were just sitting there bullshitting. You know, like. Like normal without all the pressure of having sex, and she was just cool, and I just wanted to hang out with her again. Well, when I was reading some of the stuff you wrote on your blog, some of it I could really relate to because I've been uh, I've been with my husband for twenty years. It's a really long time, um, and we've been married for fifteen, and I've known him since I was like fifteen years old. So, um, and we are we really are best friends. I mean, we fight all the time, but but we are. And so, when I was reading some of the stuff that you had written, I was like, I can really relate to that. But the other ones I wanted to tell you that I really liked were um i loved all right so you people that are watching this you got to go to the site that has the blog i know you have like a bunch of different sites so is the blog sinning at life is that the blog site yeah sinning at life is the way you can access okay yeah, everything that, that's the best one and so we're gonna when damien does his editing magic we're gonna throw that up on the screen so go to sinning at life.com and you can access all their different portals and join and whatever but you go to the blog for free which is awesome and read about uh, a couple of these things I'm going to mention if you're interested. So the one you wrote about how you love your little family, like how ever misunderstood. I have to read it now. See, now I have to read it so that people can hear it. it. Sure. All right, hold on. You guys are basically doing your own reality porn show, but on web. I love it. Yeah. I mean, and that, but yeah. the, I think what translates because it's real. It's not a it's not yes. a fake thing. All right, I found it. I'm reading this. Is. Ready? Okay. All right. So you it. wrote, "I fucking love my little family as misunderstood as we could possibly be with pit bulls instead of kids, sex instead of work, freedom instead of monogamy, <laughs> dreams of traveling the world and fucking bitches together instead of dreams that we've been told to have our entire lives of a nine to five job and a white picket fence. Yep, we're gonna do us. I just think that's awesome. I I love that. You tell me what's it like to live your life as a porn star? Like, what are your that's your job? Like, does your family have an issue with that? Do you have your friends had issue with that over the years, or have you just been like, whatever, fuck you? (laughs) (laughs) I'll answer that first. But I've pretty much been like, fuck you. I've pretty much done what I wanted my whole life. You know, I never really, I never really listened to authority figures or my parents or whatever. Uh, my parents are awesome. They're still together after 50 years and still love each other. Wow. But I just, and they, I went to college, I have a marketing degree, and they definitely pushed me in that direction. But, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to sit behind a desk for eight hours a day. I don't want a boss. I don't want to, I don't want that kind of, I don't want, I want freedom. Right. So born, when I got into born, it was just like an outlet. And when I realized that, you know, I could make decent money, I could basically do whatever I wanted to do. I could take time off whenever I wanted. You know, I just ran with it, and I never really looked back. So your parents then are cool, your family's cool, your, I mean, I'm just kidding. I mean, they, they would all rather see me do something else, but yeah, they're cool with it. You know, they, right. they know I'm responsible, I'm good with the money, and, you know, right. they're happy that I'm happy. And well, it's, it's interesting because we don't. I- we definitely don't talk about it at the dinner table. But. Right. Well, it's funny that you say that because I actually was talking about it at the dinner table with my family the other night, and that was really uncomfortable. Um, so I was talking to I was talking to somebody Are you about serious? yeah. When I was talking to my mom, because my, my dad says my dad says I want you to send me a link to your show, and I said that's fine, but you need to know a couple things before you watch this. First of all, Dad, you're going to hear me like graphically discussing sex. I said, and second of all, you're going to hear me talk about smoking pot. I said, if you're okay with that, you can watch whatever you want. You guys are going to have to wait. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. That's but awesome. But we only though. have so much time with you, and we're not going to let you fuck right now. Right, because it's <laughs> mostly because it's on YouTube, and then that won't work. <laughs> and then we'll get kicked I off. I think Vimeo will work, though. Exactly. All right, so I loved that page because, oh, so I was talking to somebody about this the other day. I have three kids. I have three boys that are 11, 9, and 4, and um, we talk about sex all the time. I mean, not in a, like, weird, abusive way, but I mean, in a, you know, when it comes up. So um, I was talking to somebody about the podcast and about porn and talking to porn stars, and they were like, well, I mean, that's fine and all, but I mean, how would you feel if you're one of your kids wanted to be in porn. And I thought about it and I was like, I don't know. Sounds like fun to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's your response. <laughs> yes. Like if you're an adult and you're responsible and you do it for the right reasons and you're taking good care of yourself, like I don't, you know, sex is sex. All right. So my question is, do you, do you guys consider yourselves to be in a category somewhat like swinger? Well, we're not swingers cause I don't fuck other guys. So I, I guess that's the reason consider ourselves swingers but i don't want to fuck any other dudes like i'm happy he's like w- way enough penis for me and i just <laughs> if, if I'm with him then i'm totally happy right well but so you- i don't I fuck swingers for that reason well i think right? i think the term swinger is annoying for a lot of different reasons i think the word non-monogamous makes a lot more sense because that's really all it is you can be with a man you can be with a woman you can be with whoever you're just non-monogamous and whatever it means it means but you know, whatever works for you. All right, I have to tell you about another thing I liked. Are you ready to hear it? Who doesn't want to be complimented all day long? All right, so the <laughs> other one that I loved was, can, I can and do literally tell Johnny everything that happens to me and everything I think, regardless of how weird it is. If I made a mistake, I'd never be afraid to tell him. Anyway, I just think you clearly have a very real relationship. I was just trying to like verify that it was for real. I, I think, think it's it pretty is. real. You've been making out like the whole time we've been talking. <laughs> like, I thought about things like, I probably shouldn't tell him about that. Like, I just tell him everything because it's just like a, it's like really safe to know that you can just tell each other things and like, it's like, it's like very safe, you know? You no, should be able to talk about no, I do, I everything do, with each other. I, I mean, I, I do that too with, with my husband and sometimes actually I've had people say, maybe you don't need to tell him everything. Maybe some things could yeah. be kept to yourself, but I can't. Like, I really don't, I mean, Damien will tell you, I really don't know how to keep anything to myself. It's like I'm incapable. It just comes out. I think they're getting that. Okay. You think, you think they are? <laughs> Always like to ask a lot of questions. So, where do you think you guys are going to go with this? Like, what's like the ne- where's the like next level sins? Where- Said where you're going to go with this next? Do you yeah, think like, what's the next? Yeah, level? like where do you see this going long term? Like, if the site is successful and you get lots of subscribers and and you you know you're writing the blog, like where like what would be the next step? Well, the next step um, for sure is we're moving to Hawaii on May third. Wow. Uh, for good. Nice. Uh, the reality porn thing will really take off then. I think that our, our website will really become something big at that time because not only now is it interesting to watch us and our relationship and watch us fuck, but now it's like it's interesting to watch someone move to Hawaii anyways. Like right. just that alone is interesting. Absolutely. And the amount of content we're going to shoot there is going to be crazy. Like we're basically just going to document it. We're, gonna, we're making a reality show, but there's porn involved in it. So that's where we see it going. Right. Um, and then we're not sure where from there, but that's definitely our next step. Have you guys like, I mean, is this, I'm just sitting here thinking like. I'm thinking about the dog quarantine thing. How long is that? What? <laughs> dog quarantine? They know about it. They know about it. They, they know every nightmare. single uh, animal on the island. That's why we're, that's why we have to wait until May now because yeah. we had to get the, the, the rabies test done. Wait 120 days. So that's what. Oh. Or we would be there already. So now you're like, we're definitely moving there because we've already done all this shit. So, <laughs> so yeah, we've, but are you dogs, we've paid for the house. We've paid for it. We're, we're, it's done. So why are you moving to Hawaii, though? Just like... Because we want to. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you asked that question. Why live in Los Angeles with all the traffic? Why right. live in Vegas? You know, we, don't, we don't really party. We don't gamble. We, don't we hardly drink. So why right. live in Vegas? Why not go somewhere that's that's beautiful where we can do what we want to do? Oh, I love and it. it doesn't really matter. That's the nice part. Since we're doing it together, we can live anywhere we want, basically. So where in Hawaii? What part of Hawaii? Which island? Hawaii. Well, I couldn't hear you. Kauai. Oh, Kauai. Oh, God. I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Have you ever been there, Damien? No. I wish I oh, could it's go amazing. now. <laughs> it's amazing. She's like, who doesn't want to watch people move to Hawaii? Yeah. I was like... <laughs> What, we I don't know. I don't know what I answered that question. We were there for this is one of the benefits of being in porn. You know, we can basically take off and move wherever we want. Right. So and, once you and who doesn't what? want to come from California to come shoot over there? 
Well, it's only four hours. It's close. No, but I'm saying it's Hawaii from LA. No, I understand that. But what I'm saying is it's not like going from here. Like people just vacation there. They go for the fucking weekend from California. Right, 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 right. Like Hawaii for us is like a nine hour flight. So, um, but so are you still going to do porn in Hawaii? Like other than your own stuff? Are you going to work? Are you going back to LA or because do they shoot in Hawaii? Yeah, my plan is to basically come back probably every other month for probably two weeks. Okay. And while we're here and um okay. go back to hawaii and do our own thing all right cool god that's amazing i'm so jealous i want to go back in time and start over and do that <laughs> <laughs> so is it going to be the site the site's going to be subscription based like most of the sites or are you, are you going to do something different there well our, our site right now we just launched it a couple weeks ago it's called is johnny and it's a it's a pay site it's a member site okay so that'll continue on to hawaii Gotcha. So, so we, I, I was looking at that though. So is that, do you, if you pay like for the membership, does that get you into everything on the site or are there like different membership levels? No, everything. It's right now. It's everything. Okay. So you can go to johnnyandkissa.com right now and watch the intro video that uh, we made and I edited. It's really Did good. you do you that watch. yourself? Yeah. What, what are you using to edit? Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay. I only do Final Cut because I'm an Apple, but I'm, I, yeah, you it, she said that you like to get high and uh, edit. So I was like, yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I was cracking up when I was looking through your... Um, some of my stuff's pretty obvious when you'll see it. Yeah, so... Yeah, like, get super creative. Like, yeah, yeah, a little too creative okay. and taking too much yes. time up on some minuscule little thing. <laughs> Look how that popped. And he de- he she's does. She's like, he, okay, I'm cool. Like, Can you... Like, what, what else you got? I'll be like, what are you... I don't... I'll be like, I don't, under, I don't understand why you're not finished editing. I don't understand what's taking you so long. And he's like, fucking give me some time, woman. Like, back the fuck up. Like, fine. And then I... But then I come over here and we smoke out and we sit. He's like, let me show you this. And then we start fucking around with it. And I can see it's like a fucking rabbit hole. You just go down it and you, you just edit so until fun. you pass out. Not editing is you could you could edit a movie or video forever and it would never be done. That's what he always right, tells me. Right. At some point you have to be like, okay, it's done. Let's just put it out. Now, do you? Well, that's kind of like you just sort of like got you even you duplicate it yourself and then you got a production team built into the duplicate. That's pretty <laughs> badass. So wait, so Kissa, yeah. I want to know if you if you have this problem. Damien gets frustrated because he doesn't want to like he doesn't want to leave anything on the cutting room floor ever. Like he wants to save everything, even if he doesn't use it. He wants to. Oh, save you mean it. save it just to have it? Yes. Yeah, I have like I have like a hoarding thing. I just every file has to be. I don't know if I, I might want to. Something might happen, but nothing's gonna happen. I need that later on. Are you the same way? Yeah, she's laughing because I bet she's the same. Yeah, way. you the same way. I'm the same exact way. Like I'm so I'm very neurotic and like I do smoke a lot of weed. So yeah, I just get like involved in it. And it feels like, yeah, I feel like if, I, if I'm if i not using a cliff, that I'm wasting it. Like, I could use it for something, right? and now I'll never right. be able to use it. Plus, yours then, is actually, yeah. like, okay. like ours, we have to sit there and analyze it and say, is this actually interesting to anybody but us? <laughs> but yours, you're naked. So there's definitely, like, all kinds of <laughs> possibilities. We are so not. So what the, what's the legal again. situation in Hawaii? Off uh, now. I'm not sure, actually. I think that it's it's very pretty similar to California. Okay, medicinal. Heard- yes, they smoke out. Already, fa- that's why I already know they're going to be cool. All right. So, why is porn and weed synonymous? Why is what is the connection there? And and somebody said, well, it's because it's out in California. That's what's out here. But Mm-mm. it's got to be deeper than that. That's a good question. I think it's just like the the younger kind of rebellious culture, like especially people that are in porn, right? That it's mainly younger people. It's mainly people that are kind of on the fringe, you know, that have and also probably drug tested. That have, most people in porn do a lot worse than weed. So you know, weed is just kind of the. So is there? Are there a <laughs> lot of drugs in in porn? Oh god. Um, are, they, are they booting black you don't tar see heroin it all the time? But you right. know, know about, yeah, you know about people that are on the harder drugs and but uh, you don't see it. From, from day to day. Listen, every single person we've talked to, every single one, and everybody we follow on Instagram, whatever, they all smoke pot. <coughs> all of them. Like, there's not a <laughs> single one that doesn't. Yeah, I gave a bunch of extra that I had left over. I was in uh, you know, Vegas for the AVNs, and I was, I was running out of time, and I had too much weed still <laughs> uh, because I got this um, mason jar full of a quarter. It's actually called mason jar because I, I, you can smell it through the jar. So I was giving that away to Bonnie and... Uh, <laughs> Lana Violet here. And so I said, take some. And she's like, she takes the whole thing underneath the thing because she was doing her little deal with the signings. And I was like, no, no, take some of it. Don't take the whole thing. I'm not done here yet. I still got like eight with, hours. 
Porn people have a lot of free time too. So what do you do with your free time and fill it with? Well, weed? you know it's funny. Yeah. That it's funny or that you, it. it's funny that you say that because I said to uh, I'm not understanding how people stay dabbed out all day long and manage to function like normal human beings. And she's like, they're unemployed. <laughs> they don't have jobs. They're on Instagram as a designer. <laughs> they're on, yeah, they're on Instagram. That's like their job is to get high and take pictures of themselves and put it on Instagram. So that's how those because I can't I couldn't function like that. I don't know. I mean, I could be high and do just about anything, but dabbed out, forget it. Like, you, I'm uh, down for the count. Do you feel like that there's like a less cunty factor to people that are like weeds, like true weed smokers? Do you know like a lot of shitty people that are <laughs> that smoke? I don't. I mean, I'm just asking you guys. Yeah, I don't know a lot of shitty people that smoke weed. I really don't. Uh, a lot of backstabbing, <laughs> weed smoking. Yeah. And nobody. <laughs> see, what is that? I think everyone just needs a mandatory. Okay. Try it out. Wait, I thought of something else. Before um, you guys can't stop and you have to turn off the camera because y'all are going to like fucking go at it right now. Um, no, before you leave us. So tell us about your fitness thing. Don't you have a site dedicated to fitness too, Johnny? Well, my site, which is johnnysins.com, right. when I first started it, it was half porn, half fitness. Okay. And uh, that site's been down though. I'm redoing that that site entirely. Okay. And there is... There is going to be a, a portion of the site that is fitness. You know, I've been working out for, for 15 years. And, right. Um, people just kind of at, always ask me advice and ask me what I do. So I just kind of ran with it. And when we started filming, I just kind of naturally started filming it, too. Okay. And so eventually, once I build up enough content with the fitness, I'm going to I'm gonna branch out into a, just a, a fitness site. Okay. Well, because that's huge right and, now. Yeah, that way it's. Because right now it's pretty much just my porn fans that are into my fitness, so I really want to branch out into more mainstream. And and don't you feel like you know we were talking about this with um, we talked to Jada Stevens last week. She's from Atlanta, so we were excited to talk to her. And we were talking about she said that that there are so many girls in porn right now that it's so oversaturated. And I said I asked her. I said, do you think that's because porn has become a little bit more accepted in mainstream media? And I think that there are a lot of porn stars who are really who people know who they are and you see them at, you know, events and pictures with with people that are not in porn and they're all over Instagram. And now you've got like the fitness models, whatever. I said, do you not think that's part of the reason why I don't think there's um, I think it's not like shameful to be in porn anymore. It's kind of like, OK. It's definitely it's definitely becoming a little bit more mainstream. It's definitely not mainstream. Yeah, no, we're no, still no. kind of. Yeah, it's definitely becoming that way, and it's it's really the internet age. You know, right. everybody's looking at porn. Once they turn, you know, whatever age, they get a computer, mm -hmm. you instantly look at porn. So there's girls that get into the business that are that are 18 that have been watching porn since they've been, you know, 15. Well, and they're looking forward in the business. It's a, and everybody, everybody these days is learning sex from porn. Everybody you know, says I, what? I did not porn growing up. I, I got so Wait. nowadays, if you want to know about sex, go watch porn. Well, and it's and and what's interesting about that is there was a documentary um, a couple years ago called um, "Sexy Baby." I don't know if you ever saw it, but it was about um, this whole um, idea of how um, like young people are understanding sexuality based on what they learn from the internet versus the way. And I don't know how old you guys are, but if you've been in porn for ten years, you're what like twenty nine, thirty? How old are um, you? 36. 36? Are you really? All right. And how old are you, Kessa? 27. 27. All right. You're baby. All right. So um, when I was growing up, we didn't learn about um, sex through the internet. You either learned <laughs> about it from like Playboy that you found shoved under your dad's mattress or from fucking Judy Bloom novels. Okay. I mean, I didn't see porn until Judy I was. Judy who? Oh, please. <laughs> anyway, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know I had I didn't see porn until I was in like my mid 20s, okay? So if you're 14 or 15 years old and you're watching that's how you learn about sex and you think that's what sex is supposed to look like yeah, and that's what kids women are blown on, on yes, school buses and that's now. what women are supposed yeah, to look like and that's right. what men are supposed to act like and whatever. It's like a really fucked up way for <laughs> young kids to learn about sex. It is. It's definitely it's definitely not a great example. I don't agree with it. <laughs> that's true. I, that's how I learned sex. I was nine or ten the first time I ever watched porn, and I was addicted immediately. And I don't know, I'm, I was never a slut or anything like that. And I just was disappointed with every other person I've ever had sex with until I knew. Exactly. <laughs> See, the bar got that's set true. so <laughs> high. So no, what, it's really, tour. so really, it's more about like people being good at it and finding somebody that you don't, you know, you want to hang out with because that's yeah. the problem. 
<laughs> so too, too many people are incompatible. You guys are an anomaly. And well, now, if they can duplicate this like you did with your each other, and you can find people to be on your site that are exactly like you. Yes, that do you want to do that? The next level. I just gave it to you. Oh my God, are you going to do that? <laughs> are you going to take his business idea? I'm gonna, with it? Yes, I'm going to send you. Can I send you my audition <laughs> yeah, tape? Couples out there exactly like us that want to share your lives. It is a. You should do it. You know what? This could be like next level cam girl kind of thing. Like you guys yeah, just have your whole next level cam life, site life video of yeah. like different people and oh, this is going to be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I porn. <laughs> I can't wait till you do it. I'm really, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to send you, I'm going to send you my submission. What, you, you and David? You and David are going to be their next couple? <laughs> you know what I actually was thinking about? Be your, you'll yeah. be their protege? So wait, I was thinking about this. I was like, I said to my husband the other night because I didn't really like um, become uh, as comfortable with sex and whatever until I got a little bit older. And I said, I wish I'd figured this shit out when I was a lot younger, I said I would have done a lot of things differently. I said, maybe I could be like the story of the woman who gets into porn at 40. Yeah. There's a reality <laughs> show, right? That is a reality show. There's a reality show for you right there. How you fucking should, awesome. You should fly to do a scene with us on, uh, on our forum. <laughs> oh my go. God, I will totally fucking do it. And yeah, but then, they'll be biased though because she'll know that, you know, and then I'm gonna, and then the I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it on, a, put, put, put it up on the PTA page on the on Facebook and be like, <laughs> hey guys, check me out. I can't, I can't be on the PTA this year. I'm too busy doing porn. Vote for the hot mom. <laughs> porn. I think it would oh, be a yeah. great story. Let's do it, right? You guys are in uh, Toronto right now, or where? Montreal. Montreal, nice. And you lived in Canada for a long time, right? Kessa? Yeah, I lived in Toronto. Okay, so is this like coming home to you? Do you love Do you love being there, or are you like, oh, it's fucking cold? Uh, I'm busy, and I have to wear clothing, and I'm not down. <laughs> we we kind of didn't hear what you said, but yeah. I'm yeah, but yeah, I'm gathering it's up. that you don't like the cold. Well, I don't like the cold because I hate to wear clothes, and then I'm forced to wear clothes when it's cold. So it's a I mean, it's kind of yeah, it's a hard knock life, Amy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sucks, no. sucks to be you. But you have the you have the uh, the you have Hawaii on the right on the horizon. So yes. you can just think yeah, about we're, being well, that's warm. What we're saying. Don't worry about the cold. We're moving to Hawaii. We were just in Mexico last week, so we're fine. All right, so and these are all write offs too. <laughs> that's yeah, true. That's nice yeah, the whole your whole life is basically a write off. Yeah. Do you just kiss right. kiss what right were you off. what were you doing before? Because I read you writing something about how you you know, we're so unhappy in your nine to five life and you were like, this is just not what I want and you would quit your job. What What were you doing? Um, I was running restaurants with my dad. I was also a wedding planner at one point. Like I've always been, I've always had a really good job. Okay. And, but I just always, I hated it. I hated working all the time. I mean, I really bad wanderlust. I really wanted just to go explore and live my life. Um, I've always been very, very different from everyone I've ever met. You know, I've always just wanted to do my own thing. So I just wasn't working for me. Do you have brothers and sisters? I have a little brother and a little sister. And are they um, more free spirited like you, or are they more mainstream? My little sister is, um, but they're forbidden to talk to me right now because I came out. I told my dad before I started porn that I'm going to start doing porn because I don't want. I hate lying. I'm really bad at it. I smoke weed. Forget all the details. <laughs> like I, I call it. I, I call it like the the hole you dig yourself into when you lie. You know, you have to right. remember so much stuff, and I just can't. Right. And so I just tell them because I'm going to screw That's up. Yeah. And, and how did that go? That was so they're good. they're mad at me right now. But it's so interesting that you say that because uh, my I'm the family same way. is fine, but my dad's not happy with it. But I'd rather him just get over it and deal with it, and we can talk about it versus hiding from him and then not only does he find out I do porn but I've also been lying this whole time I mean that's way worse now it's double yeah. now it's double something yeah. no I, I told listen I totally get it that's why I told I'm 40 years old and I told my parents I said listen just heads up this is what I'm doing and it's gonna be out there on the internet and you know I just I don't want you to I don't want somebody else to tell you I'd rather you hear it from me it's also the details thing that she's talking about. Yeah. I know what I'm, I'm losing time now, like li- literally losing time <laughs> from certain days where someone's like, I had that conversation with you. And I'm like, I'm not going to yeah, argue with you, me. but I don't remember <laughs> what you said. Usually and I fucking know it feels me. Weird to have to uh, ask you what that was because I was there. But that's the problem. Doesn't remember jack shit. I, I do remember most of the, most of the important. We remember the important stuff, <sighs> right? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, our dance do you like do strip club do you feature dancing like at strip clubs and stuff like that oh, or no yet. 
No. I mean, I haven't even started porn yet, so no. It's crazy to me. This is like totally new. I love yeah, it. I'm brand, I'm, I'm brand new. Thursday is my, is my first scene ever. All right. So I'm excited. Like, I don't actually belong to browsers, but I'm probably going to go join so that I can see your scene. Yes. <laughs> I will. I'm going to give you that. That's going to be, I'm going to support well, that, you. That, that, that sort of piggybacks on a, one of the last questions I had. The tube sites and there's all the problems with, you know, I guess people getting paid for doing. That. But what do you, what do you think the future is with that? And how does, how are you going to. You basically have to start out knowing all of your shit is going to be on the internet for free regardless. Okay. So you have to, you have to give your fans and your members something different, you know, like we're, our site's very interactive. They can vote on some of the stuff we do. We put out, like voyeur stuff that's just like real quick stuff like you know like like five or ten minute things like she gave me a blowjob on the plane um <laughs> we put on the site and we will watermark the shit out of it for sure sure it's, sure it's most important for them to be so in- interested in our life and what we're doing that it doesn't matter if they've already seen it they need to see what's next like i need to see exactly like we release so much stuff that i want to i wanted it's worth the, th- the what 25 bucks to, right, right. to be there to watch everything. like i want to see what's next you're sort of creating a fan the type of fan that you want someone that's going to be there because they want to be there someone starts stealing your whatever it is make something else and they're they're going to want that like just always be a step ahead of everything let them steal it and for us, for us, we're doing a little bit of everything too. Like we're doing the the beautiful, you know, HD scenes. Mm-hmm. We're doing, you know, shit we shoot with a cell phone when we're out and about. And so we have a little bit of everything. Well, I I really mean this. I really wish you guys all the success in the world. I hope it's I hope it goes yeah. well for you. I really do. And I will uh, definitely be supporting you financially and uh, with my membership. And we'll tell people about it who I think are interested in and it. Fingers and, crossed on you yeah. being selected. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. I want to be. I want to be the very first uh, member of your of your of your new 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 page where you host <laughs> other couples. <laughs> where I start my porn career. <laughs> you should go to Sin's forum and apply to do the scene with us. Okay, I'm on it. All right, it's happening. That would be really. That would really be a really good tie-in for the show. Yeah, it would. I'm gonna do I it. I think so. I'm doing it. All right. So, listen. <laughs> is there anything else you want to tell us about before we let you go? Any other? Anything else? Oh, you didn't talk about your clothes. Oh yeah, we have a we have a, oh, yeah, a this clothing is our, line. This is our merch line. Sins. Oh, that was really cool. All right. Merch.com, but you can find it through Sending That Life as well. All right, and you have a bunch of Instagram pages. Just go out there and follow all of them. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Sins, uh, Kisses Sins, and my my real Instagram is Coyote Loves You because that's my real nickname. Okay, I, th- so I think that's Instagram. the one. I think I think that's the one I'm following actually. All right, so we're gonna find you on Instagram. Yeah, you guys are on the Twitter. Uh, we can find you lots of places and we'll put all of your sites and everything up and when we when Damien gets this finished what we do is he edits and makes it funny and fun to watch and then we release uh, an an uncut audio and then we also have the video that we release so we'll make sure and tell you guys when we're we're done with all that Kissa you know better than anybody else that these things cannot be rushed (laughs) (laughs) this is like the walking dead coming back you guys will be up in like about three weeks you know you got to give it some time and it's just when it's ready it's ready you can't rush it but when we get it done we'll send it out to you guys and hopefully you guys will share it with uh with your followers and and help us out because we i really want this to be um you know, we're this is we're not new podcasters, but we took this over from somebody else who already had this podcast. He did it as an audio podcast, and he had his own little site. But he has some other podcasts that he does as well. And so he wanted this was the one he wanted to dump. I don't understand why, but it was. And so we took it over. And somebody asked me the other day, they're like, "Why? How is this different?" Because there's a lot of podcasts out there where they interview porn stars. And I said, "You know, I think we just want to talk to these people. Like, you could ask." Yeah, I've seen a million interviews with porn stars where they're asked, like, you know, uh, who's who's your favorite person to work with? And how many, what's the most people you've had in a gangbang? And <laughs> I, whatever. Yeah. I mean, just a bunch of stupid shit. <laughs> right? It's a bunch of stupid shit. And honestly, if I want to know about how you fuck, I can watch your porn, okay? So I think we really enjoy talking to people and just getting to know them and hearing what they're interested in. And um, I think there's some really interesting people that are, out there in the adult industry so that's what we're kind of trying to do that's different is just to have a uh you know a forum where you can talk about this stuff openly and find out what people are into aside from how they fuck on camera 
So you, you guys, can you let me know what your like your Instagram is and your Twitter is? So yeah, I can, absolutely, yes, absolutely. We're uh, uh, Jackie Tees is our um, Instagram and Twitter is underscore Radio After Dark. You can text that to her too. I'll send it to you, she'll Kissa. Send, she'll send it to you, so you'll yeah, have it in a digital yeah, form. Yeah. I will. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, lots much. of fun. Thank you for coming on the Thank show. You guys, you guys were great too. Hey, good luck with whatever your big meeting is in Montreal. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye. Tuning in to Radio After Dark. Check us out at JackieTees.com for reverend t-shirts. Follow us on Twitter, underscore Radio After Dark, and on Instagram, Jackie Tees, for the normal shit. We'll see you next time. Oh, typical. Of course, I'm gonna miss it. No, you it's care. it's fine. It happened. Um, but this is Kissa and Johnny Sins, who I didn't really know a whole lot about until recently. Say hello, and um, found out about you guys through um, Kissa through your your PR agency, actually. So they're doing their job. Yes, they're doing their job. <laughs> <laughs> so they're doing their job. And so I was like looking at all these people, trying to check out the clients because Damien was at the AEs. And so we were trying to hook him up with some people while he was there live. But I didn't discover you until after, or he could have met you. I could have been there, right I there know. with you. It was, it was pretty intense. I really liked it. Though. Had you been before? I have never been before. You were one. Right? That was probably my third time there. Well, because you've been doing this for a while, right? I've been in the business nine, almost 10 years now. Well, that's a long time. All right, I'm you're one be- of the few contract mail stars right now. Uh, that's much better. Perfect. All right. Let me see if I can get this a little bit brighter, too. Okay. I'm, I'm just telling you right now that I'm like having a fangirl moment right now. For real. <laughs> and I don't really get that way just because I like you guys already. Even though we haven't talked to you yet, I already know I like you. <laughs> She's been reading your blogs. <laughs> <laughs> I have. And I was, when you texted us to be, you were like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was like, I think they actually give a shit that they missed the interview. <laughs> I cared so much, like of course, because I love to be on. And of course, Eric Canada uh, delayed us two hours. I was like, this is like so. So we go and hang out with friends on set, you know, and shoot a porn scene. Right, awesome. So, Kissa, you just did your first, right? Your first official by yourself, right? Um, yeah, I just um, my first. It still hasn't come out yet. It's coming out Thursday. Um, it's a series with Brazzers, so it's four scenes altogether. Okay. Um, one is like a behind the scenes uh, at home thing that uh, Johnny and I shot um, all by ourselves and I edited the whole thing. Uh, the second scene is a girl girl with Riley Reed. The third scene is uh, Johnny and I and okay. a boy girl. And then the fourth one is a boy girl 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 with Johnny, myself, uh, Aja Fox, and Dahlia Sky. Oh, that must have been so, terrible yeah. for you, Johnny. Horrible. <laughs> 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 Such an atrocious looking, such a horrible, unfortunate looking group of women. So before you met Johnny, did had you ever considered doing porn ever? No, actually. The right. F- well, I'm not contracted anymore. All the internet companies were racing to get guys for whatever reason. Okay. So about five years ago, it, there was a huge contest between like Reality Kings and Brazzers race to get contract guys. And that's when all the guys got signed up, which was very beneficial for us because our rates went up, you know, and <laughs> our status went up, so to say. Right. So it was great. But now I'm a free agent. I work for whoever. I still mainly work for others, but. So, okay. But so are guys treated differently in the business than women? Are they more dispensable? Uh, uh, being a guy, I would say so. I, I would say we're treated a lot better. Because oh, you think? Oh, okay. we, the difference with us girls is we always work for the same people over and over and over again. You know, the girls come in and work for the director one or two times, whereas 
we have, you know, friendships, relationships. Right. Why is that? The directors and the crew. Because when you use the same good guys over and over again, then we get a bunch of lame We basically go and hang out with our boys. Exactly. Oh, just no. like, hey, let's just walk around. Let's see what we find. Oh, uh, no. We were rolling and <laughs> <laughs> sipping on, you know, whatever By we way, got from our... that's why I thought you would not come. I really did not think you would come through. Oh, no, I just no, thought no. you would be too, way too fucked up. We were Zephyrs <laughs> just floating through this casino. And uh, meeting different people. Uh, I love that you just used the word Zephyr completely appropriately. Obviously. Obviously.